couple of man with no riz at all, Sam Allard. Uh, Sam riz? Morning. I think I've got a little bit of riz. No, good morning, Hal. Do I want to have a oh, little you, bit of riz? Oh you, oh, you know what riz is now, do you? I think I know what riz is, yeah. I didn't know what it was at five o'clock this morning. No, the, re, the wee impalumpa no, told me. I'll be honest with you, the wee impalumpa. <laughs> I had no idea what riz was, no. but it apparently means what? You, you call you down with the kids, basically? That's what it means? Charisma. Like? Charisma. Charisma. I haven't got any riz, have I? Let's be honest. No. Um, <laughs> back pages. Um, there's a serious story today, isn't there? Not just on the back pages, but also on the on the front pages um, relating to, to Christian Horner. Do you know what? I'll skip some of the headlines and I'll go straight to what the Guardian say. Desert Storm is their headline. Giles Richards is in Bahrain. Good headline. Good, um, headline. good like You like the headline? There yeah. we go. Um, this story <laughs> don't is... Don't worry about the story. Yeah, don't worry about it. the story. The headline's good. That's the most important thing. No, on a serious note, this story continues to rumble on. The opening of the new Formula One season was dramatically overshadowed last night after a leaked email purporting to contain images of messages between Christian Horner and the female member of staff who made a complaint against him was sent to media, team members and senior personnel within F1 and the sport governing body. It's less than 24 hours after the result of the investigation into Horner for alleged inappropriate behaviour had exonerated the Red Bull team principal and dismissed the grievance. Uh, the sport was once again engulfed in speculation after the anonymous email circulated around the paddock. Now, the Guardian going to say, Al, there is no indication by who the emails were sent mm. and also what was said in it and the nature of it uh, cannot be proven and reacting to the incident Horner Horner um, once again denied yeah, the, the any allegations. Well, the papers bang out of order. Horny Horner, that's out of order. <laughs> Horny Horner, yeah. <laughs> Behave yourself out. Yeah, Horner rocked by bombshell leaks is back at the uh, back of the. That's mail. all they need, isn't it? Going into a new season. Yeah. Well, what, what can that be like, uh, Ray? I don't know if you've ever been well, involved. Well, it's, a... it's going to be all over the qualifying rounds, isn't it? No one's going to be worried about the qualifying rounds and the race itself, probably. Oh, this weekend's Wouldn't irrelevant it? now. It's all about yeah, Christian all Horner. About, yeah, What's exactly. he going to say? What is <laughs> what his colleagues going to say? Out. I mean, it's going to be hard, isn't it, for everyone this weekend? Now to stay focused on the race because the race yeah. feels like the second story here, right? I've heard a couple of versions oh. of what's been going on, <laughs> but, so but I'm not going to. I'm not going to get into it because uh, you know Ooh. people are listening. Okay. But, um, well, that's what usually happens, though. <laughs> but but maybe I'll be too busy down the pub again. Yeah. People do listen to this breakfast show. So what we got an Adam's Zill exclusive coming up? Is he is your favourite to win it? Is he? Is Verstappen the favourite? I reckon he's the favourite, yeah. I mean, He got the uh, quickest chassis, didn't he, Lewis? Hamilton was yesterday, mm. yeah. But F1, need, we need some competition this yeah. year, don't we? We can't have much, Verstappen. How much influence do you think his dad is on, on Max? How much do you think there's a big influence there? You tell me how. I don't know where we're going with this. You tell me. He's got that smile <laughs> on his driving. face, Ray, when he's... When he's when he's you know, it'll no. all come out. No, it'll all come out. It is back pages, front pages. It is a serious story. More as we get it. The on only Talk people Sport. be happy. Who's, who's the only people who are going to be happy lawyers. out of this? Lawyers. The lawyers. Yeah. Of sure, sure, sure. Ching ching. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> um, do you know what? How about this for a story on the back of the mail this morning? As if Eric Ten Hag hasn't got big enough things to to focus on. Eric Ten Hag has demanded an apology from Fulham after they mocked Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes on social media over supposedly feigning injury when they met Old Trafford last weekend. Ten Hag said it was totally out of order for Fulham to post a video on their official TikTok account of Fernandes going down heavily under a challenge and then recover and then the, the caption was so glad he's okay. Okay. He does that but, quickly. But, but he does that chat, quite a lot, though, doesn't he? Oh. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm not being funny. Eric Ten Hag's coming out here having a go at Fulham. For, for, why not have a go at Bruno Fernandes? Week in, week out, his behaviour mm. on the pitch is an absolute disgrace for a Manchester United captain. Pull him into a meeting well, it's not just and tell him, him to behave it's himself. It's not just him. Ray, There's quite a the few players one. who do it. He's the worst one. Week in, week out. But, is he not? Are you yeah, surprised I, Fulham I, have I, done I, that? He annoys me. Have he, you, he are you surprised Fulham have done that, though? Um, As a club? No, 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 no. I'm, it's a I'm bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. that, you know, you shouldn't... I'm, I'm surprised he's bit a little bit, uh, Ten Hag. <laughs> There's more, more things to worry about than bloody full But Ray, Ray, but also, <laughs> also... Uh, you, you, you don't know. You don't well, know. no, yeah, but he's always. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you, don't know what's yeah, been said, you don't know what's been said in the pictures. Well, maybe there's a verb we don't know about. Mm. But he does. He, 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 he Listen, he's a very good player. He oh, doesn't yeah. need to do is. that. It's a part of his game he's got but, to lose. But, Albert, if you if you're a Manchester United player and you're in that dressing room, or the manager even, do you pull him into the dressing room and tell him to stop doing it? Or do you just have to accept oh, that it's part of his game? He'll be getting paid. Well, we had one. We, we had one where um, we played Portsmouth at home and Robert Perez fell over uh, someone's leg yeah. and we got a penalty and we scored and we won the game or got a draw I think in the end yeah 
But again, you, what, you what, don't really. Yeah, but I don't think you, you look say back well at done it. to him because no, you didn't say well done. Jack, you have a go didn't at say him? well done. You didn't say have a go at him either because you didn't really look at it to say um, you didn't look back at it really. I mean, the fans were going mad, Portsmouth fans, and I can see why they did. But you're going to get players like that. I mean, who fall over people's legs mm. and. But what can you be? What can you do about it? I hate, yeah. I hate it when people go down and start rolling around, and suddenly they're not going to. The referee don't stop the play, and then they jump up and run after the ball again. Well, that's what Bruno did. <laughs> that, was, that was the clip of him on the weekend. But Al, he's having a go at Fulham. He bit back at Jamie Carragher after you. Cri- he's this, losing the plot. You think he's losing the plot? He's losing the plot. Oh, he the knows the pressure. The, pressure, the him, pressure's right? getting to him. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you think when managers start to come yeah, out and not yeah, talk, do you yeah. think that pressure's getting to that him? That performance against Fulham was awful. Mm. It really and was. You know, even before that, they had some wins, didn't they, against Villa and Luton? But they were playing badly, weren't they? Mm. Well, look, it's all about getting results. You can't always play well every week, but you, I think the fans want to see a bit more structure in how they play, don't you think? See, no, we've got a big derby coming up this weekend. I mean, yeah. you know, you, it's a city look a certainty, don't they? But you just don't know in football, mm. it's a derby. But if City batter them, I think he's on thin ice. You think you go before the season finishes? No. End of season. End, End of season, season then it changed. What's, what's the season. point? Yeah, true, true. Um, one more very quick one. Chelsea's Trevor Chalibur admitted the pain of losing. The Carabao Cup final was made worse uh, by that criticism from Gary Neville. Um, billion pound bottle jobs, he called them. But the Blues defender revealed heart-to-heart talks among the players and staff this week brought the club together. And to be fair, they showed some bottle, didn't they, Ray, yeah. on Wednesday. Do you think <clears> that... In a way, that defeat could galvanise everyone, that well, cup final uh, defeat. When you've got loads of young players, you've got to give them a chance. And I, I think you might see the best of Chelsea next year or, or going forward. If you can keep the, those players in the same team and improve them, is Pochettino can improve them and get that structure again in, in how they play, I think you're going to see much more from Chelsea next season. Um, and it, I think fans have got to be patient with it. And FA Cup, they've got every chance, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, got every chance. Leicester, isn't it? Leicester. Yeah, decent draw. So they've got Leicester, to the final Leicester, Carabao it, it, Cup. It won't be easy, but you, you'd fancy Chelsea winning. They've got to be mm. favourites, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. To Leicester. Yeah, to get past Leicester, then well, Leicester, back to Wembley, Leicester yeah. got to just look over their shoulders for Leeds United now, haven't they? In the, and champ- and in the championship. And Ipswich. Uh, and, 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 and Ipswich. And Ipswich, of course. Have you been going to, to many of the games no, this I season? Haven't, haven't, no, you know, no, no. That'd be silly. No, I thought I'd ask the question. No. I've, I've, I think I've been twice. Somewhere. Twice this season, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is poor, really. The last few games we've got to go out. Well, they've got a On real the cusp chance. of promotion. Yeah. They've got I, a real the chance. The problem is when I get home on a Saturday morning, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm wrecked. <laughs> he's got he's got in at five in the morning Friday night no, I yeah. <laughs> it's been to uh, a rave I, I, I it's been to win. a rave with Jill you, yeah, I can't win if I stay up here on a Friday I, I, I end up you know socialising but if I try and go home on a Friday I end up it's still where, where are we going Rose? today Al? Rose um, <laughs> am, I, am I allowed to join am I allowed to join the 10 o'clock debrief today and back for a one on Friday uh, no, de- no debrief for me today I'm going to bed I'm, I'm cream crackered I'm, I've got something to do later on what are you doing later? Uh, never mind. <laughs> is it work? Never or what? mind. It's work. Is it work? Well, there yeah, you go. Happy yeah, days. Yeah. It's, it works too hard. Just I know. You just go and get your nose back into the papers, please. <laughs> Six twenty eight. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.